Hello there, and welcome to my 10th 3D tutorial. And in this 10th 3D tutorial, you will learn how to do a lot of things. But because it's my 10th 3D tutorial, I have done something a little special. I've used um, all the technology that I show you in the other tutorials, plus a little bit more, to make a really cool game that you can download and change that you want if you want to. Now, here's how it goes. As you notice, this is a really this is my menu. If you're gonna want to make games, you're gonna want to add menus to them. So play, exit, and controls. So I'm gonna go into controls now. As you can see here, I have a, just a bunch of stuff such as the um, controls and a little credits. There we go. Now, if I, when I play the game, then it goes to here. Now, um, what I haven't showed you to do in previous tutorials is make a split screen in 3D. Now, I know it may sound easy, just do the same thing that you do in 2D, but it actually isn't. You have to do some extra stuff to make it work. So, as you can see, I have um, two tanks. One in each little screen here. They can both see each other, and also I have a bunch of houses and roads and stuff. So, I can go up to them and shoot each other. And make up the rockets that I. There we go. So now you can see both tanks. Very nice, very nice. And notice that there's a little um, mini screen up in the top left hand corner of each one showing what direction I'm facing it and where my opponent is. Also I have a health bar in the um, bottom left of each corner and I also have a um, target thing in the middle. That way people can know where their missiles are going. There we go. Very nice. Alright, so um, here's how to do that. Alrighty, so so first we need two objects object one and object two for the cameras alrighty so when I do draw alright so here's what you want to do if view current equals one then exit this means that if it's the second view then don't do this so because it's weird currents and thing anyway this means that it'll only view in the one so if you ever want to have something in only the one view, then you do this. And you little to go. Anyway. So then it does the projection. Same with this one, except for view current has to be zero. So you don't want it to be view current zero. So then you do this again. So yeah, basically, um, the engine I'm not gonna explain how to do. You can you could probably figure that out for yourself you download it or you could figure it out without downloading it it's not too hard and then for the mini map I'm gonna go into earth though alrighty so when I draw lots of draw events but to make that little mini map is actually not that hard well okay maybe not that hard this right here is the loading bar alright so anyway to make that mini map draw the color black draw a circle Okay, this is just gonna be the little um, uh, back of it anyway. Okay, now this is how to make those little other dots in there. Alright, so as you can see, a lot of code. Just basically getting the distance and size. So, and placement. So, this is to create the um, your enemy. So, with object cam, if distance object. Um, so this is uh, just making sure that it's close enough. Then draw the sprite units at place of object can do, and then a little code to make it a lot smaller. And then draw a sprite external. Now this is um, drawing a sprite um, of you, which you say in the middle. And then um, alpha back to one, and then do the circle on the outside. That's about it for that. Yeah. So this is all that that needs uh, and of course there's also some um, cool effects such as the explosion when I hit the other guy 
that you can um, or you can use all of this. Now I suggest though that you change the models and such if you're wanting to publish the game. Otherwise, we'd have a lot of games that look very identical. So yeah, you're gonna want to change it, and yeah. Also, you're gonna want to change the controls around. Otherwise, you get some major problems. So yeah, I also have a little delay on the shoot. So yeah, just a bunch of changes stuff. I also wanted to add my logo to the game. There we go. So now I'm going to play it again. So, if you get a bigger game, it takes a little bit longer to load, unfortunately. But that makes up for it with a really cool game. So, saving the executable. Now, you don't have to do this if it's an executable already. You just have to do this if you haven't made it an executable yet. Alright, so I made it another loading bar. You probably know how to do this, so I'm not going to tell you. But yeah, it's cool. Alrighty, it takes a little bit longer to load. But, at least it doesn't take too long. There we go, so here's my logo. Of course, it's kind of chunky to you. Because it's in a game. But oh well, a really cool effect that you're probably going to want to download. Figure out how to make it all. So, here, here we are. We are back to this really cool place. So yeah, there we go. Play. <laughs> there we go. And so you have it. A really cool game. <laughs> Where you shoot each other for no good reason. Alrighty. Well, that's all I have for this 10th 3D tutorial. I ah, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.